This is question 52 on chemistry from the 2013 IMAT. So we're asked how many atoms of hydrogen are there in three kilograms of ethane, given the relative atomic masses and Avogadro's number. So how should we go about this? Well, firstly, what is ethane? We should know that this is C2H6. So how many atoms of hydrogen are there going to be? Well, we can work that out from how many molecules of ethane we have. And how are we going to get that? Well, we're given how many molecules there are in a mole, that's Avogadro's number, so maybe we should work out how many moles we have of ethane. So how do we work out moles? Well, we need the mass and the relative molecular mass. We've got the mass, but we don't have the MR yet, but we do have the ARs. So let's work out the relative molecular mass. So we have two carbons and six hydrogens. So using these masses, that's 2 times 12 plus 6 times 1. So 24 plus 6 is 30. So that's how many grams of ethane there are in one mole. So what's our mass? We're told that we have 3 kilograms, but our MR is in grams per mole, so let's convert it to grams. So times them by 1,000 gives 3,000 grams. Now, how many moles do we have? So the formula is number of moles is mass divided by MR. So let's put the numbers in for ethane. That's 3,000 grams over 30 grams per mole which comes out as 100 moles. So we have 100 moles of ethane, and how many molecules of ethane is there? So we know how many molecules are in one mole, and we have 100 moles, so it makes sense to times the number of moles by how many molecules there are in one mole, n times Na, putting numbers in, gives 100 moles times this many in a mole as 6 times 10 to the 25, because we're timesing 10 to the 23 by 10 to the 2, and remember the add powers. So that's how many ethanes we have, but we need the atoms of hydrogen. So if there are six atoms of hydrogen and one ethane, what do we do now? So the number of atoms of hydrogen is six times 10 to the 25 times six, because we have six atoms of hydrogen in the molecule. So this comes out as 36 times 10 to the 25, because it's six squared. But in standard form, remember we need to change to 3.6 times 10 to the 26. Well, we know it's this way around because we have a bigger number times a smaller number, then a smaller number times a bigger number. So this is our final answer. We have 3.6 times 10 to the 26 atoms of hydrogen in this much ethane. So this corresponds to answer A on the question paper.